should be doing my homework right right now, but I could not leave without saying glory to Shiba, Vishnu, and Shiba, Vishnu, and Vishnu. I think that's the ones I'm forgetting. And, because I always forget about these guys. And, we are going to war with China. China, we're going to war with China. Yeah, guys. As you guys know from last episode, I basically declared war on China. It wasn't them that declared war on me. I started the war. I want to make sure China knows where it's at, who's at war, that they are not... Oh, it's a good thing you didn't add Japan either. That, that actually has a different layer of availability. Um, but, yeah, I was the one who did that, and... I'm not regretting it. What I am going to do, though, guys, since I already know how this is going <laughs> to... Okay, so, vassals. You guys are going to give me militaristic control. Okay, Russia. You are going to act like a big brother and destroy China. Okay? Okay. You have massive amounts of soldiers. You better use them. Okay? Okay. Okay, let me make sure it's not all, like, sea power. No, it's mostly made of soldiers. Where the heck is your army, then? Like, it says you have a massive... It must be just mobilization. It must be just mobilization. Alright. So, anyways, guys. We're going to be pumping our soldiers again. Not going to forget this time. Did not forget this time. Our wartime economy should, like, kick in. We have a pretty stable economy for war. Okay. I don't think Russia, China is going to try to attack me anytime soon. What I'm going to try to do is attack them. <laughs> yeah. You didn't see that one, did you, China? Um, with all my troops right here on the borders, uh, right here is a little bit too defended. Let me combine all these. Whoa, that's a very unbalanced army. Um, with this army, I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to have to be really careful here. Basically, what I'm going to do is try to create a front right here and just basically hold off the Chinese right here because I know they won't be able to fight. We won't be able to fight massive amounts of hordes. So Burma, once you guys, when can I, when do you give me my, when do you give me my soldiers? The twentieth. Okay, I'll get when I have that when I have that chance. I'll get my soldiers. Okay, and then Ch Russia over here is gonna get smoke. No, they're actually doing pretty good. Well, they're doing okay. They're moving the armies through right now, so we should start to see massive horde armies come in. Okay. Brilliant e mechanized mining. It's a civil engineer. Okay, you guys, give me control of your land. Okay. China's fully mobilized right now, so that's good. We know we will know how much they have in about a couple days. Okay, no. You guys will go and destroy these guys. You guys will go and destroy these guys. That is your only mission. That way we can start actually defending our land. I should really mobilize myself, but why do I feel cocky enough that I will win this? I don't know. That's that's a good question, guys. Look psychosis of James right now when he goes to war. He becomes slightly stupid because he usually thinks he can beat anyone. Okay, you guys. I'm going to have you guys move in a little bit into China. Um, I'm, I'm really not, like I said, the first part of the war should be pretty simple. I should not be having to worry about, um... You know what? You guys stay right here. I'm just going to have to create a new front right, right about here. Oh, wait. That actually opens up more fronts. Dang. Okay. Have my troops moving in. Yeah, I have my troops moving in to Hanawa. I need to make sure that that place is guarded. Because that's basically, right there, guys, is, that's the key to my empire. If that falls, we lose. Okay. This is like my new troops, so I'm going to use them in my new battle. Um, okay. Let's do this, China. Bum, 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 bum. Wrong music, James. Wrong music. That would be epic music, just like old 70s music, just like playing in the back. Well, it wouldn't be epic. It'd be so stupid that I think you guys would all laugh and really want to see that. Like just like the song boom 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 Uh you have to you like I said, amusing yourself as a YouTuber. It is quite easy and quite fun. Okay, so let's see. Um how's the Russian strategy going? Good! They're doing exactly what I need them to do, which is distract the Chinese for as long as possible. Um, they're all sending in their own men, so that means they're all going to get their own width. Hopefully they did mobilize. They did not mobilize, so I'm set, I'm dealing with a Russia that is stubborn. Stubborn. Okay. So let's see. We got this done with. Okay, we're going to move in right here. If I move in right there, then... Oh, shoot. I have to think about this carefully, guys. 
because we want to make sure that there are no good gaps in any of the whole in any of the land though it's really easy to conquer china right now because they have they have not built up any of the forts yet so we're basically guys our basic goal in this is to whip up china take infamy for it i know i'm going to take infamy for it don't you guys dare say i will not take infamy for it um you guys and you guys go right here we're gonna go crush the guy uh, they can do whatever they want i'm gonna go make sure that dolly is defended to the utmost of my ability okay we got our first battle over here how are we failing faring against the chinese oh we are smoking them good Smoke the Chinese! Smoke the Chinese! Go men! Go Indian men! Fight to the very last breath! Thank you! Okay, so let's move in. Let's just keep my soldiers. Okay, do not move. Keep your soldiers right there. Okay, I got more soldiers moving in right there. Got more soldiers moving in right there. Um, you guys are moving in right there. Holy shoot! Did not expect that. Okay, you guys go right there, go right there, go right there, then go right there, then go right there. Okay, you guys are gonna go crush whatever Chinese troops that are trying to do stuff in this land. Um, okay. Russia is doing fabulously. They are crushing exactly what I need them to crush. I'm going to line up my borders here soon. Um, yeah, just just do whatever you have to. I know it's it's not a war, and usually I don't like to fight wars that aren't a war, but we kind of have to this time. We kind of have to. Okay, so that was a complete and utter fail on my part. I just entered into a gigantic battle that wasn't supposed to be, and we're still winning. Never mind. Go fail. Oh, never mind. Now 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 they put in like 129 men. Moving. We talk. Okay, so they're obviously having fun there. Gonna have to stop that. Well, once I get my revolutionaries underneath, under my control. Okay, divide, divide and conquer, guys. Seriously, divide and conquer. We don't, we don't need to have all of them on the here. Okay. Uh, once I add my other soldiers, I think I should. I'm waiting until they all group up together into one gigantic army. Because if I could just win this right now, then I don't have to be. Holy shoot, they are sending a lot of soldiers into this one battle. So this is basically the battle to end all battles. The battle of Long Gang. Remember this battle, guys, because this will be the epic victory that somehow we win. Okay. No, we have to give it a couple seconds. Because we have to... Okay, send in these troops. Okay, just send in these troops. These troops would not be bad. Okay. Okay, good. You sent in those troops. Okay, we have our troops moving in from over there. We're going to have to deal with these guys at some point, but I'm not really too concerned about them. Okay, my other troops are going right there. You guys are probably going to be the army I'm going to use to go crush them. Um, now that we have got a good stable front, you guys move in right there. You guys are also going to be used to go crush this army right over here. Um, Russia, what are you guys going to do? You guys going to go help me down there? Good. Over here, we have a massive amount of soldiers. I'm waiting, like I said, guys, I'm waiting until they group up a ton of them. Like, I don't mean just a little bit, I mean a ton of them. The battle of... Did I win already? Oh no, Russia! What did you do? So guys, the moral of the story is, never ever invite a world power that's greater than you. Guys, I just got screwed. Oh uh, man, that, that kind of stinks, that seriously does stink, so, move back all the armies to the borders of the new Cold War, well at least, hey, at least we're going to be able to increase the fortress levels around here to make them even more impenetrable, this is really where the fighting is going to be. Oh my goodness, that, that, that kind of makes me sad right there. We just lost, like... <sighs> we just lost a way to expand. Uh, no, I'm not giving you guys any, any... Against Yemen. Well, I really don't care about Yemen. Well, since there's nothing else to do, I guess I'll do the Ethiopian conquest that I was planning for later. Because, you know, I, I want to make my colony more big, and conquering Ethiopia seems like a good idea. 
and we're getting discredited. Oh, they're coming for us, everyone! They're coming for us! They're coming for us! I know those good, no Ethiopians are coming for us somehow, some way, somehow. They're coming for us. I didn't know they are. They're coming for us. Those. Oh, I'm not even gonna say. It. They're coming for us, guys. I'm sorry. If that was like, I'm not sure if that was like one of my worst ever coming for us, but I, I just feel kind of defeated right now. That was, you know, we just, we, we were winning too. We were smoking the, the Chinese, and then. Oh, I don't know. Hey, we were winning. Like we were seriously defeating the Chinese. We had them. We had them on the ropes. Of course not. I mean, now we base. Now basically, the Chinese hate us for no. Okay, you guys. Wow. I don't know why, but my factories just cannot support themselves without my help. That is not a good sign of a good working economy. Nor will I go in Kaboomy. I love the Kaboom. Farming maximum output. All Man Empire wants an alliance. Heck, checking no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are like 10th. And maybe you guys should have accepted that, actually. Because they actually are 10th. Nah, that's actually way too bad. You know, now I'm looking for somebody that's less powerful than me now. Because I need to get... Let's see, the two the two people that are ahead of me are China and Russia. Everyone else we are basically ahead of because we are powerful people. And we're slowly catching up to everyone in almost every aspect of their lives, which is scaring them profoundly, I bet. I mean, would you guys imagine that India would be this powerful? Well, I knew you guys would, but would you actually think they would think that an uncivilized power like ourselves somehow rose to the ranks of being like this and we are just smoking? Like, just smoking them. Oh, my goodness. Like, that still doesn't make me mad, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm still, like, slightly steamy because they just... All that, Rus all that Russia really did was just make them hate them more. They, they did establish a more dominant presence in, in China itself, but they also kind of messed themselves over because if there's another war between them and China, I may not be helping them out. Because I remember this. I remember this instant betrayal. You don't, like I said, you don't betray me and then just get away with it. You know, there has to be certain paperwork you have to fill out, and they didn't fill out the right paperwork, so. They, wow, the prospector just went out of the bar and went back in, guys! Wait, <laughs> either coming for us. Oh my goodness. I'll probably make this an extra long episode, because it's not going to take that long for me to take over Ethiopia. Like, at all. Like, seriously, at all. Uh it's it's uh, they have no military they have no army no hope no nothing just have to do what I have to do to go conquer them which honestly won't be that hard so yeah and I'm gonna spend my troops out just a little bit cuz I don't need to have this many troops inside one province I'm not saying that guys it doesn't mean that I don't believe that in this game it's much different than the other games where you know like in, Vic in like um, EU3 you can either have like one one soldier or two soldiers in a province and they'll siege about the same but in this you actually need to have a decent amount of soldiers to do a decent amount of siege okay so I guess the next place I'm going to expand to is Siam no one's friendly with Siam right okay well the British are friendly but we already know we can take on the British and kill them like the British are absolutely no threat to us in this world absolutely none we don't fear the British and we need to kinda I think these guys need to either okay I'm either gonna make them a puppet of me or I'm gonna make them a a uh, state or an entire colony over here because I need more control we need to make sure we keep expanding because we're gonna what okay how does that work so you guys are at war with wait, who you guys at war with China how does that work you guys were just at peace with China. What does China... Is China being a bully? Excellent. China. Wow. Wow. Like, seriously. I thought I was a... Wow. They are a bully. Okay, let's get this... Oh, yeah, we are already at war. Okay. So, yeah, you guys move right there. You guys move right there. By dang, China. You just... You are a backstabbing, like, person. I mean... Th that that's almost like a human move I would say like seriously that that feels like a human move right there just like you know be friends with them and then just backstab them when they don't look 
Oh my goodness. I love it though. I love it. China is like, you know, China became from being from being really good friends to being really good enemies. That's how the relationship between us has gone. I mean, we're the lowest of the low right now in terms of a lot of things. But uh, shoot, I should really get some machine guns. <laughs> I I have to get that technology. Sorry, guys. We have to we have to be able to shoot a lot. Okay, a place in the sun. Uh, isolation. No, a place in the sun. Seriously? Like, why would I not choose that event? That event is so awesome. We're fifth right now in industrial power, so we just pass someone that's good. That means we're just, we're slowly, like I said, we're slowly but surely starting to edge out the Europeans. Right now, like I said, they're about, well, dang, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, but yeah, the, well, that's Germany. We're about halfway up the social ladder in terms of, of of like industrial school. Well, I really got insulted this by industrial school. Who the, who the heck is the biggest industrial school? Okay, so UK and France. We probably won't be able to catch up to UK and France, but we'll probably be able to catch up to everyone else. We're still growing. I mean, seriously, we are still growing at this point. So, shouldn't be that fine. Man, that war. <laughs> that war. Oh, my goodness. Got my new transport ships. Yep. Oh, clippers. Oh, Clippers, we, we just don't know how to upgrade our army. And now we have many, many lines of defense over here. We are not, we are not playing when we say we are not friends with the Chinese. Alright, you guys, I'm going to upgrade your guys' uh, railroads. Because once you guys become me, I'm going to, like, freak and be happy. Uh, round up the usual suspects. Okay, now you guys go over here to the mountains, and we're just going to stay there. And this is a, this is going to be a nice, like, Ethiopian colony. Like, we're going to have a good base over here. Like, now that we have a good, decent population, we're going to have a good base. I'm not doing any reforms. Now, please, stop asking me. I almost want to go ultra jinderistic, but I feel like that's going to allow me not... I still do need some people building up my factories. Like, I need some... I need my... The, the puny amount of capitalists I do have in my country... Which, how many capitalists do I have in my country? 20,000, yeah. The puny amount I have, they gotta stay. Annex, good. So, now we have a good... Now, definitely I can say our colony is good, because look at that, I mean... Cheers! I mean, honestly, look at that. Look at that, look at that colony. We now have a really good, decent-sized colony. And now we can influence Japan a little bit more. That's good. We have to influence Japan even more. Ooh friendly we're now friendly with japan which is good the, wow we we jumped we jumped in front of china but i'm scared of the industrial power because now they can really industrialize they could blow right past us but anyways guys that's enough of me rambling it's a good this should be a really good episode for you guys i you got, probably you guys are gonna be a couple are gonna be mad because you guys didn't get to see that epic war that i was kind of hoping for I mean, hey, I'm kind of disappointed with you, too. Like, I wanted to see an epic war between me and the Chinese with an epic conclusion of me winning. Oh, of course, China. Japan. Japan. Of course, Japan. Of course, I'll get an alliance with you. The only problem is, is that you guys really need to, uh, catch up and beat China in a lot of things, because China is annoying me right now. They're... I, I, then again, if they, if they actually... If Japan actually catches up, then I'm going to be afraid of Japan. That's not good, but they're not going to catch up for a while, and I need to make sure I... I basically... If you guys haven't noticed, I basically stilted the growth of the Chinese, which is kind of what we need to do. And I'm making a lot of money! Holy shoot! Like, oh my goodness, we are making moolah. Like, moolah. We are making moolah. And I'm just... Uh, I mean, I'm making so much I don't even know what to say. Just... We rock. Good, see, is there anything in here that might... Regular clothes. Oh, we got luxurious. Alright, we already got some artillery shells. Shells. Let's see. We can build some machine parts factory. Uh, do we have any electrical wires over here? No, we do not. Uh, then... Because I'm, I'm just going to... Should I max out the rest of these factories? No, I shouldn't. Because I do need to keep some open for... Uh... Oh man, Creon just like grew. And then like, we have to wait a little bit on expanding these guys. 
fact, let's put one of my natural modifiers as this. There we go. Alright. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I mean, really. Comment, guys. You guys know how to play this game, too. So you guys can give me some advice or anything or anything like that. If you guys want to say something that's on in your mind, maybe, hey, James, you're stupid. <laughs> well, I don't like those kind of responses. I definitely think it's better than to say something like that than say nothing at all. It's kind of weird. Usually you're taught to say nothing if you have nothing nice to say. But in this case, it's good when the YouTuber knows that. You guys care so much that you guys actually want to build your opinion. And wow, I didn't realize I was also still supporting my men. Dang. This economy is it's crazy. I'm, I'm, are we still doing war dimitaries? Because we still are. Oh my goodness. Alright, we, we got to we, we can decrease this by a lot. Like we don't have to... 60. I think 60 is going to be the... Let's see if we can do this. Can we do this while my episode's still fresh? 60. Can we go down to 60 tariffs? Holy shoot, no. That bankrupt my country. Wait, we can? Huh. Wait, we can or we can't? I, I, I'm not sure if we can, but I think I'm going to raise up to 65 just to be sure. Because I want to make sure we're taxing everyone equally, but if we can do that, that's a good change in terms of taxes. And combat with, okay, that's a good way to end it. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.